Hi Daily Scholars, this is Miss Coach. Welcome back to another recap of our core novel, Esperanza Rising. Today, I will be reviewing chapters 7 and 8, titled Las Cebollas, which means the onions, and Las Almendras, which means the almonds. So let's start with chapter 7, Las Cebollas. Now, Esperanza, her mom, Hortensia, Alfonso, and Miguel were on a truck. They've already reached California. They're on a truck, and they finally arrived at the work camp. Everyone goes into one cabin to settle down, and that's when Esperanza and her mom, Ramona, have a small argument. Esperanza is having a hard time adjusting to her new living conditions. Now, the next morning, all the adults go to work, except for Esperanza and Isabel. Their jobs are to watch Isabel's baby brother and sister. Now in the afternoon, Esperanza needs to go sweep the platform because there will be the Jamaica that's coming soon, the party that all the workers will celebrate. Now, Esperanza's never swept before. She's never used a broom. And so she goes out there and she tries to sweep and she struggles. And of course, Martha is there at the camp and humiliates Esperanza, calling her Cinderella, while many of the other workers at the camp laugh because she doesn't know how to use a broom. She goes home in embarrassment. And after Miguel gets home from work, he teaches Esperanza how to properly sweep. Now, in chapter 8, Las Almendras, the Jamaica will be coming soon, the party. But Esperanza can't decide if she's going to go or not because she feels embarrassed from her sweeping incident. Well, that night, Alfonso and Miguel finally reveal what the secret package was. They were roses that they salvaged from the fire after El Rancho de las Rosas burned down. They saved Papa's roses and they planted the roses in a small shrine they had built behind the cabin. Both Esperanza and her mom Ramona were so thankful that they had a piece of their home and from their Papa at their new living space. Now the next day, when Isabel and her mom, Josefina, were shelling almonds, Esperanza asks them, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And learns that Josefina will be serving almond flan at the Jamaica, at the party. And almond flan is Esperanza's favorite. And so she finally decides that she will go to the Jamaica, to the party. Now that, that was the end of chapter eight. And your assignment for chapter eight seven and eight is to work on your core novel pages, pages 13 and 14. I will go over it with you. When you go to page 13, you'll see the first section is called vocabulary. Now it's a little different from filling in the blank, okay? And I'm going to explain. Analogies are equations in which the first pair of words has the same relationship as the second pair of words. So here's your example. Dark is to light as merry is to glum. Now, dark to light, if you think about that relationship, what do they mean? Does dark mean the same as light? Oh, actually, they mean the opposite. So this is the opposite relationship. So if dark is to light, then merry is to, well, merry means happy. And so the opposite of merry would mean something like sadness. So merry is to glum, and glum is sadness. Okay? So in this case, both pair of words are opposites. Now, when you are working, you will choose the best word from the word box to complete in each of the analogies below. Let's try one together. Let's try number two. Number two says wrap is to present, as blank is to infant. So let's think about that relationship. Wrap is to present. Hmm, how are they related? Well, 
you have to wrap a present. So the first word is you're doing something to the second word. So here we have blank is to infant. What is something you can do to an infant? Let's see, in our word, word box, we have awkward, mm -mm, can't awkward an infant. Humiliation, mm, that's a noun, right? it has to be a verb. Obvious, no. Swaddle, <gasps> can you swaddle an infant? Can you wrap an infant up in a, in a blanket? Yes, so that means wrap is to present as swaddle is to infant, okay? So you're gonna work on that with those analogies. Next, you have questions to answer. There are 10 of them. Now again, you can answer it on line paper. You don't have to write the question. However, when you write your statement, when you write your response, make sure you paraphrase the question. So for example, question one says, why does Esperanza feel like a misfit? Right? So if you say, oh, because, because blank. Right? Esperanza blank. The appropriate response would be, Esperanza feels like a misfit because, and that will be your complete response, okay? So make sure you do that. You don't have to write the question. But make sure your statement is paraphrasing the question, okay? And when you write your title, make sure you title it chapter 7 and 8, Las Cebollas and Las Almendras. Now, on page 14, we continue on. These are questions for discussion. We will save our discussion questions for our Zoom meetings, okay? Then you have two more sections. You have literary device. We will continue with symbolism because this author loves to use symbolism in this story. The question is, what do the roses symbolize? Remember that special package that Alfonso and Miguel finally revealed to Esperanza and her mom, Ramona? What do those roses mean to Esperanza and her mom? Okay, make sure you give that explanation. Finally, what does the kitten that Martha holds symbolize? All right, so you'll find that in chapter eight. Okay. Finally, your last portion of your core novel packet for chapter seven and eight is your writing activity. It says write about an object you possess such as a photograph, a souvenir, a letter, a piece of jewelry or a toy or game from your early childhood. Tell about the memories this object brings forth. What feelings do you associate with it? Who or what does the object symbolize? Okay. You, can, you can write your response in here. You can draw your object and write your response. All right, friends. And that is it for our recap of chapter seven and eight. If you have any questions, be sure to contact Ms. Coach or Ms. Lichtel on Teams, or you can type in the comments below. All right. Bye, friends. Until next time.